Board members, members of the public. Uh, Ms. Joe Cato could not be here this evening. She has an obligation with uh, FSPA, but she wanted me to read the following statement of the record. As chairman of the budget committee that is required by contract, I feel that the record needs to reflect the work of this committee. The purpose of this committee is to create an overall awareness of the district's budgetary needs by identifying and sharing priorities from the parties on the committee, which includes a representative from the OCPS board, CTA, OSPA, and the superintendent. Since late last year, the committee met several times. The following priorities were shared from OSPA and CTA. OSPA, declare a certain percentage increase plus a monetary amount to level the pay schedule. Second item of the OSPA, avoid any increase on health insurance premiums for employees. Under CTA, item one, provide a much deserved teacher pay raise for our teachers. Item two, provide free health insurance for our employees. And item three, provide pay for professional development. I believe that the request of the units have been met, except for the free health insurance. The school board has covered an additional $647 per employee to cover the 9.5% increase in premiums. As I have shared with you and the public, my duties as past president of FSB require me to be in Pensacola for meetings. I do support the approval of the budget as presented. Uh, thank you, Mr. Rodriguez, uh, on Ms. Cable's statement. Ms. Moore. I found this conversation really successful. I have uh, a sister who is a teacher. Unfortunately, she's out of back surgery right now, but, and my best friend's an elementary teacher as well. I, but I think it was really helpful and useful to hear the individual pain and suffering. I think it made it more real for us. Um, one thing that hasn't been mentioned, and I know you all, the only thing you could do is come down pretty much and talk to this board, and we're kind of caught between you and Tallahassee. One thing that we haven't talked about that you don't always hear is how much time we spend lobbying legislators going to Tallahassee and impacting legislation. And I know Dr. Jenkins has, and has worked diligently to cultivate relationships with statewide leaders to, to advocate on their behalf. So you don't often get to hear about that. And, and I don't want you to walk away thinking that there is no hope. There probably is little hope with us because we don't control how much we set the millage rate. We don't control a lot of these things from Tallahassee. The things that we can control, we certainly want to work with you on. What I recommend is we have to get more involved in the, the process that elects the leaders that do make these decisions, the ones who do put into place um, the funding and the performance pay and everything else, and that's the legislature. And so I really encourage you, that's what we're doing. Um, so I can tell you that this, the uh, legislative committee has spent extra time every year cultivating relationships with our legislators. Several of these board members uh, went out on a limb to make endorsements last legislative cycle. Several of us went and did debate prep with candidates who work, it would be incredibly great advocates for you. And we took extra time to do that. We consider that part of our job. So, Mr. Uh, Roach, how many trips have you made to Tallahassee trying to advocate on behalf of teachers? I mean, you probably don't have enough fingers. I know you've worked very, very hard this year. Mrs. Flynn and I did a, what was it, about an 18 hour day. We got up at 5 in the morning. We went up, testified, and Bill got home at midnight. Um, and the two of us were very brave and had a very, very uh, stern 